and they are off. AMI, in association with the Iron Butt Club, have taken the challenge to embark on the Land's End to John O'Groth's challenge in under 24 hours. This is all in aid of raising money for the Seafarers Charity. Well, uh, we're going from Southampton to Land's End and then up to John O'Groth's in under 24 hours uh, to raise funds for seafarers. The Seafarers Charity use grant funding to support seafarers who risk their lives to support our nation, taking care of their families during long periods at sea and looking out for the seafarers wherever they may be in the UK or the further reaches of the Commonwealth. Well, it just looks after seafarers that um, have retired or the, the ships, the owners have abandoned them. It looks after them make sure that they're looked after and, and, you know, hopefully get them home where they need to be. As a part of the Saw Saddle Challenge, so this is actually the basic event, which is a thousand miles being achieved in under 24 hours. And Saw Saddle is probably the operative word. And so uh, normally a trip like this, people would be doing over a number of days. Mm -hmm. Um, to make a trip of it, whereas we're doing all of this on a motorbike. Um, in, uh, no matter what the elements are, rain or shine, to achieve this mileage in under that set target. Many hours of training have gone into the preparation of this ride, with friendships being formed, appreciating the beautiful country that we live in, and getting mentally prepared for the long stretch on their bikes. Um, we're starting about midnight uh, down to Land's End and then we should finish in John O'Groats by about 6.30, 4 to 7 in the evening. So it's a good sort of um, 18 hours. So far we've raised about £320 and we're aiming for at least a 1000 so all of you watching this, be generous, dig deep and give to this as it's a great cause. The Seafarers Charity are here to support and ensure that those in the UK and Commonwealth who are often out of sight for so long are not out of mind.